So this was an anophthalmic case through the side port go in put viscoelastic the other side port has also been created and as you see in spite of putting viscoelastic the chamber does not deepen and uh, therefore one has to do a pass planar vitrectomy uh, create put a trocar get familiar with it even though one is a cataract surgeon it is very useful the trocar is not fully inserted now it is it is a difficult handling the trocar initially as we are not used to it however by doing a little vitrectomy just for 5 seconds through the trocar uh, at the same time injecting viscoelastic with the other hand this simultaneous action you see now once the vitrectomy starts the chamber is deepening you can see movement in the anterior chamber there is nothing was budging. So after this vitrectomy is done the capsule is removed we must realize that this patient has a 1.6 AC depth and an overall uh, eye diameter uh, axial length of just 16 millimeters. So this cataract is done routinely it is just that the space that is there to move the pieces around is really really small and one has to be very careful to coat the endothelium from time to time with viscoelastic. So it was quite a struggle to get all the pieces out being very careful that you are protecting the endothelium also the PC is not too far so your judgment is different um, as compared to the regular cases keep injecting viscoelastic to prevent any striate keratitis on day 2. Pupil is also very small the basic pupil is also small and therefore even the rexis one has created with the femto is not that large as it would be in a normal eye. So one has to carefully keep the probe right at the level of the iris not below not too high as the space is just 1.6 millimeters most of the cortex is out. So attempts are made to aspirate however the cortex is very very sticky and you are very close to the posterior capsule at this point. So the irrigation and aspiration is abandoned and the plan is changed and the lens is implanted to secure the IOL in the bag. Now to remove this cortex is a bit difficult in normal cases one can rotate the lens but here it is a 50 2 diopter IOL is very very large it is filling up the whole bag not allowing any place or space for putting the aspiration probe trying to hydrate the cortex so that it becomes a little more fluffy and one is trying to see where all is the cortex present. Trying to go around the lens in a little rotatory manner and then pulling it out centripetally till now everything is ok should one leave the case at this stage or try further negotiation yeah with the irrigation cannula checking with the aspiration cannula trying to get a little bit out but as you see the lens itself is moving with the bag so probably the anterior capsule is in the aspiration port one releases it and 
now one is trying to remove the but you see the capsular bag being stretched with it. So, the other hand with the irrigation port is trying to keep the bag in its position that way. And the little thing you see at 6 o'clock is just a PCO not cortex. You can see the bag at 6 o'clock. However, there is luckily no vitreous and uh, by just doing a simple hydro dissection and leaving an air bubble to deepen the chamber not attempting to remove any other tags, closing the eye, removing the vitrectomy port of course, and that is the end of the surgery.